evening, Spain. Good evening, Canary Islands. Good afternoon, America. How are you? Full of energy, good mood, productive? No? Don't tell me. You're feeling tired, exhausted, lack of motivation. Well, <laughs> this is why I have this little chat for you uh, prepared. And I hope I can give you some ideas why you feel like that, why you don't really can get into a proper sleep or sleep through the night and wake up refreshed, full of energy, positive, and in good mood. So, I hope uh, with what I tell you, and if you like afterwards, you can ask here, you can leave a message. I will be for at least 10, 15 minutes directly after, uh, after publishing on air this video. So I will be with you, reply to your questions, or if you prefer to do it in private, um, please feel free to send to inbox to send me a private message. I will also post this video on YouTube. Will uh, there will be the link, and uh, so you can share it with friends, with family you think who might need it, and to get an idea how to feel better, or if they want to get in contact with me and to get some more help. Okay, so what, help, what happens? Most people, unfortunately, in our society, really don't sleep well. And this is very strange considering that we actually live in a very rich con uh, society. We have to eat, we have our jobs, we have our housing, everything is fine, but we still don't sleep properly. So, one of the factors for that is this. I'm just curious, who of you has their smartphone at the bedside at night? Let us know, share with us. Nothing bad. <laughs> just give, me, give us an idea who is having it at the bedside when they sleep. And you will, I'm just curious to see if my idea about that at least nine of 10 uh, will have it. I actually have it a long, I had it a long time aside of my bed as well, until I really, really found out how damaging it is for my health. And I said, well, I really don't need it at night on my side because at night I'm sleeping and I sleep well, I sleep. I used to sleep all my life between seven and nine hours, about eight hours. Now I sleep about six, six and a half, and I wake up fresh, refreshed, recovered, full of energy in the morning. And um, yeah, I can help you that you feel like that as well. It's not that complicated. You might need some alterations in your life, little things and uh, for me it was actually just uh, just one thing um, and yeah it's easy if you like to know if you don't if it's not enough what i tell you now get back to me by private message by a, a message here on the side that's a video so what happens um everybody knows it's common knowledge that uh, a good profound sound sleep is part of uh, good health or of well-being. Lots of people actually don't know that it can affect our health as well. I will get, uh, I will talk about that a little bit later. So the reasons, just start right away with the reasons why we don't really sleep well. And there can be a lot of different reasons. Normally, it's a, um, it's, 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 a, it's a combination 
of two or three or four or five of different factors, okay? It's hardly ever just one reason, but the most um, common ones are um, stress, I just said, the smartphone, you're always 24 hours connected. Gosh, connected all the time, 24 hours. What does it mean? It means you don't have a single moment of a profound, of a good rest. And our system needs that. Absolutely. If you're like, oh, I'm so exhausted, I'm tired. Yes, it's because you don't rest. Logically. Now, we all know that. We all know we need a rest. What we're not aware of sometimes, it's because whatever happens in our society, we don't talk about that. And one of the things is to be connected 24 hours is really toxic. So, another thing is late meals. I live in Spain on the Canary Islands, so our evening meals are normally in Spain between nine in the evening, it starts around nine, goes up to 11 at night. So what means at 12, the so latest at one, the people are try to sleep and they have problems to sleep, which is absolutely understandable just because of the late meals. Um, the body needs, um, it's scientifically proven that we need about four hours um, that our digestion is going through. And during that time, sleep is getting um, difficult, okay? So when you, are, when you have your last meal about four hours before you go to bed, there's a much higher possibility that you will sleep better, okay? Another thing is um, your glass of wine in the evening. Um, some people think, oh, I have a glass of wine, I sleep better. No, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> and um, it's exactly the other way around. If you drink alcohol, if you drink wine, you won't sleep well. Another thing, everything what I tell you here is just information. I don't mind if you drink a full bottle of whiskey at night. It's your decision, okay? Don't get me wrong. But if you suffer from problems with sleeping, it's something you should consider, okay? So a glass of wine, two or three, might not be good for your sleep. So another thing is... Um, the late meal, it's also what you eat. Um, I'm sure most of you have already heard, have a light meal in the evening. I'm just curious, who of you uh, have heard that, that somebody told you, well, if you don't sleep well, it's better a light meal. Or if you can't lose weight, which by the way, might be related to lack of sleep as well, um, have a lighter meal or eat more protein, eat less of this or this. Um, you, would you like to um, comment here and let us know if somebody else, if somebody told you that? I'm pretty sure somebody has, no? I hear that frequently and yes, actually it's true. Um, it's not only the time you eat, it's also what you eat. And uh, I must say, my last thing I take in the evening are uh, minerals now. I do that now for, for about two years, and it changed my sleeping habits a lot from a normal medium of eight hours. I went down to six, six and a half hours. I'm delighted. I'm absolutely amazed about that because it gives me time to wake up quietly and do a meditation first, which de-stressed the whole day right from the beginning. So it's just one thing I, I love about it. And yes, it changed for me my sleeping, yeah, in a po very positive way. But there are other things um, to take in mind. So if you can't sleep, check your room. You probably have heard it or thought about it. We all know if there's a lot of noise around that you can sleep. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? 
So uh, if you live on top of a discotheque or at a side, a really, really busy street, you probably don't sleep that, that sound as if you're somewhere in a village and it's all um, filled around, logical. Nothing to really to, to reflect a lot about it. But yes, try to have your environment, your bedroom quiet. And what also um, lots of people don't know, which is um, funny enough, is we need fresh air in the room. You might have heard about it. And actually, it's a big factor for a good profound and sound uh, sleep. So especially in winter time, often our rooms uh, are overheated. So try maybe just to get down the temperature one or two degrees or even more, it depends how much you have. It should be around 20, 20 the most, 22, not, far, not warmer. And you will see that might uh, help you to sleep better as well. So these are just a few things. Um, uh, I already mentioned, uh, yeah, it's just you feel lousy in the morning if you don't sleep properly. And I know so many people in my um, closer around my friends in my environment who actually who say, oh, I would love to sleep a whole night but I can't, and I tried this, and I tried this, and I went uh, to the health store, and the doctor gave me this, and I tried this, and this, and somebody told me this, and I tried it, and nothing helped. Well, these factors, what I just told you, are definitely, um, might definitely be part of it. I'm sure maybe one or two of the points you can relate to, maybe even two more. And um, yeah, changing a few things might help. If you have lots of problems for whatever, for job, for family, that won't help either. It's normal that your head is circling at night. But normally what we're talking about is to have over a long period of time bad sleeping patterns and that is really affecting you in many, many, many uh, ways. Apart from exhaustion, tiredness, you might, maybe you noticed that you have problems with your memory. Oh, I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> I'm joking. But you know what I mean, especially when we're 40 and up, we think, oh, it's an age thing. No, not necessarily. Seriously. It really has, it's very stress related. If, you're lot, if you have lots of stress, you might start to notice that you have to take note more uh, than before. And it doesn't have necessarily to have anything to do with your age, okay? I know people have, who are 60, 70, 80, and they have an absolutely fabulous memory, but it has to do with oxygen and good sleep. So another thing is um, you might have somebody in your family or friends who are all the time sneezing. And not because they have allergies, but they have whenever a cold is going around, they catch it. Wherever a flu is, they catch it. Or maybe, maybe even yourself have these problems. So most people don't relate that to problems with their sleep. And actually, it's one of the main um, main problems for for disease for and this, these are light things, but it can actually get to a real heavy disease or sickness. It's if you don't sleep properly, is your body during the night doesn't recover properly from all the work it does during the day and it can detox properly either. So what happens? Your whole immune system goes down. And it's very low. So whenever there is an infection around you, 
obviously you will catch it because your system, your body is not strong enough to fight against it because normally it would be do boom, like a chilled around, but if not, okay, you catch it. And most people don't just don't connect it to the sleeping problems, but it can be one of the biggest factors for infect for frequent infections. Another thing is, um, I already, already mentioned that a little bit, when you wake up during the day, you're just not motivated. You're not in mood. How often do you hear it from friends, oh, I'm not in mood. Oh yeah, I want to do that, but oh, actually, I'm not really in mood too. Well, it's one of the, it's one of the uh, results, one of the effects if you don't sleep properly, yes, you're not in mood because you're literally, you're tired, you're exhausted. And your concentration as well, the same with the memory, it's your concentration, you're not concentrated, you're at work and you can't concentrate on what you do. And thus your productivity is uh, lacking. And if you have children, if you have kids, it might have happen the same. They're at school, you have an absolutely wonderful child who's trying to learn and everything and just doesn't learn. And it's not because he's stupid or she's stupid. No, it's because they can't concentrate. And that might be related that they don't sleep properly, okay? So that's something to check. And it's really actually easy with the factors I said, which what you think you can change, but if all this is okay, it's also, there are also other things like what I said um, to do with nutrition, with minerals at night properly. Um, there are certain things, certain little things you can, can add and it makes a big, a huge difference and very quickly actually. You know, this is not, not something you have to wait half a year. Or so sometimes these changes, when you do these changes, when you add a few things, uh, the changes, um, the positive uh, improvements might show actually in, in a couple of days, in a few days, okay? So um, uh, what else? Uh, what can help a break during the day? So now we come a little bit more to what you can do with why it happens. It already gives you an idea. I'm sure it gives you an idea um, what you can do to make the changes now. So let me know if, you're already, if your head is already working. A comment here aside. Um, I'm just curious, um, how many breaks do you do during, do you have during your day? If you work in an office or whatever you work, do you take every hour five minutes or something just to disconnect what, was you, what you're doing? Same if you work at home. Do you have a certain, let's say, um, time frame in which you say, okay, no, I just get up, I walk around, or if you have a physical work that you say, okay, I sit down for five or 10 minutes, comment here and let us know, um, how is your life? Is that something you can do? Or let's say you do, because um, what we just said, um, if that helps to, just a second, <coughs> that helps to bring your stress level down and thus you feel better. That at the end of the day helps you to sleep better, okay? So it's catch 22. If you sleep well, your stress level is down and you feel better and then you sleep better. <laughs> and the same, if you can do things during the day, if your stress level is high, you go to bed, you don't sleep well, which means you wake up with less energy, with everything and more stressed right away. So what you can do is this, find a way to bring your stress during the day down. And five to 10 minutes breaks uh, several, several times a day just make a difference. It's amazing how much better you will feel just doing that. It's easy actually to make changes, to make improvements, okay? So um, you can use these five to 10 minutes to make a meditation. Um, 
studies show that meditating every day for 10 minutes, um, the people get healthier. It includes better sleeping uh, patterns. So what else? Um, do you know anybody, or maybe yourself, who says in the morning, oh, I need my cup of coffee. I, may, I need two or three cup of coffee to get going. Do you know anybody? Well, I know lots of people. Oh, no, 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 I can do this and this, but I can't leave the coffee away. Impossible because then I won't be able to, to, um, to perform. Well, I know so many people and I'm sure, uh, I assume you do. So what happens? Actually, it's nothing wrong when you have your cup of coffee in the morning, one or two over the day, but uh, coffee, and if you have problems with sleeping, coffee is a factor which affects your uh, healthy sleep, okay? So keep that in mind. Don't have your coffee in the afternoon, in the evening. Even if you think it doesn't affect you, yes, it does. And that is also, there are lots of studies about that. So it's nothing which comes from it. It's sometimes we don't notice because we're so, our bodies are so out of balance so that we think this condition is normal. It is not. Okay, so, um, um, yeah, I think the most important things I mentioned, fresh air, quiet room, logical, nothing, nothing really to, to argue about. And um, I already said late meals, what you eat. So there's a lot of, lots of different things. Um, I hope this gave you a little bit of an idea. Um, I'm sure some of this you already heard before, maybe some of these points you heard a lot. <laughs> So maybe it's a moment now really to put something into motion to make little changes. Feel free to comment here, place your, place your question. Uh, I will be with you for the next 10, 15 minutes to reply directly. If you see this video on YouTube or later on on Facebook uh, and have a question, the fastest is to inbox me. and. Um, but you also can leave a message here. Uh, it only might take a little bit uh, longer until I see it, but I always reply, okay? So if I haven't replied in a week's time, send me a private message, then, then you can be sure it goes faster, okay? Well, so thank you very much. Bye-bye.